all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna be looking at Tatanka he's the new MLE character everybody's chased him most people have gotten him and I want to tell you my insight on him <clears throat> now at first glance he's really not that great to look at a lot of our past chase characters have been phenomenal uh, such as Kevin Owens he's the first one that comes to mind um, I'm sure there's plenty more, but I'm forgetting names currently. So when you look at his moveset, you, the synergy is just not here. I mean, it has its value, and I'll walk through that later, but at first glance, it doesn't have its value. The main value at first glance is this trainer ability. Yellow submission moves do 100% more damage per turn. Yellow moves start with two more move points. This works perfectly for the two cards that I'm going to be working with, hence why I have the affiliation belt on him. These cards work with Judgment Day Balor and his triple yellow, and it works with Molly Holly with her double submission kick out. Now, in his belt, you can clearly see I haven't quite got it completely set up. I only went with Fury 1 belt or Fury 1 medals just because they were available. If you plan on maining him because he's a new gen and you don't have that many good good new gens, by all means go Fury 2 and run with it. Um, I think he has his place in stipulation tours for the red gems if you don't have kevin owens or walter i think he's good in the stipulation tours for black gems again if you don't have kevin owens or you haven't brought up honky tonk uh striker honky tonk man so and i'll show you again why in these videos i haven't put a plate on him yet because i haven't locked in what build i want to go with so the plate is still up for debate <clears throat> so Moving forward with the first move set we're going to go with. We're going to go with the Power Slam, Neck Breaker, Diving Chop combo. So essentially what this does is you make sure that you get a skip turn with uh, Power Slam to let the one turns go off, then you hit the Diving Chop, then you just wash and repeat. I'm going with Sting for the MP for the Power Slam because the perk system is allowing me to cap it off without another MP trainer. Feuds is going to be up for debate solely because you're going to need double MP trainer. You're going to need a plus two somewhere. You can go with Judgment Day Balor. You can go with uh, Mr. Perfect for the plus two. There's a few other ones. I'm sure you could even get away with using Batista and pumping up the damage on that just a little bit. But we're using Matt and Memrock to increase the strength gems and Santa Hogan because, well, he's five star bronze. We're going to go against a five star gold, so we need a little bit more gem damage pumpage. All right, let's get into this. This is going to be a raw, unedited video. I'm basically, I recorded one already, didn't like it, so I'm recording this one just to get it out there as quickly as possible for you guys because I know a lot of questioning it leading into victory tours. So, let's see here. So I'm going to go there with that, go there with that, call it good. Normally you want to add, sorry for the sound effects there, guys. Um, normally you don't, you normally wouldn't go this route if this move right here was doing blue gems. You would want to use up all the blue gems from that one, randomly place them if you need to. But we're going to hit here. Nope, he's going to kick it. Perfect. This does happen. This is the reason why I'm questioning him as much as I am. That pops. Hit the countdown again just because we can. We're gonna hit this. So we're looking at 761,000 there. It'll be a lot more here in a minute. Especially the fact there's only three. So we have openings. So we wanna go here. Take the bottom row. We're gonna go here. We are going to use a blue here, go here, and go here. The only reason for that, we're blocking the yellow. So we go here, move skip, nope. And now we're going to go into submission. See, this is, he plays so complex. If you don't get it right, you don't get it right, and you get punished big time, unfortunately. So let's go here, here. We could have done the extra, but I'm kind of saving these. If I can. Oh. 
Submission just made everything worse. Okay. Well, <clears throat> now I guess we're gonna play this out. This is the other reason why I wanted to go raw because I want to see, I want to show his pitfalls. This is a pitfall. I'm sure with Fury Two, I'm sure it'd be a little bit different story, but as of right now, not really. So we don't have red. It's gonna go there. It's gonna hit there. He's going to finish this off. There's really no way around that. But we are going to try this because I just noticed it. Okay, it can stop now. Let's see if that does something. Nope, kicked out. Oh, we were so close. And this is a pitfall. This by, should by no means deter you from working him up. But it does show you a real reason why you need to learn him as best as you possibly can. Like, there's ways to manipulate this that'll work in your favor. I've done it. Granted, this one I didn't finish, but the other one I did beat. So we're going to try the other build, see if that one works. That one should because it's a skip turn. So you go here. We're just going to stun lock him and hope it works out in our favor, essentially. I'll throw that there. And this may very well go just as bad. I, I couldn't really tell you. Okay, so we're going to go there, go loadout. Okay, the reason we are going with this loadout, we're doing Nakamura, uh, Nikolai Volkov, Boogeyman, and uh, Santa Hogan. These three are going for black gem damage. It's going for all. <clears throat> so we're going to go with a vertical chop. Increase your black MP by three. This does go up to uh, four at five star gold. So it kind of pays off a little bit more. Leaping shoulder block. Two by one area into juggernaut gems. That will make nine random gems into color turn. And then turn all or turn 17 into black gems at the end of the turn. <clears throat> Countdown. And then you have your pendulum backbreaker. Force your opponent to skip their turn for one turn. The downside to this, this stays at one turn. It doesn't go to two, which is really unfortunate. Makes him less desirable, in my opinion. Again, that build, or so the first build I showed you would be for stipulation tours. Probably get you through normal and hard pretty easy. Hell, maybe not so much. So we're gonna go here. At five star gold, he'll be easier to do on tours because this move right here is just going to increase it. That'll get that charged up again. You hit the skip turn, obviously. Ideally, you want to hit a black gem mash here, but that's not in our cards. So we're going to take that just to be a dick about it. Okay. Next hit. Hit the juggernauts one more time. This is the reason why you want to break three again. And you can just hit here. Since that's a 1 MP, it's going to go off every single turn. And that would put that to max. If we had a black gem. Or a 3 match. So I'll go there. Boom. Boom. 395. This is going to be a while. Okay. So we're going to go here. Do the skip turn. Tink. Now one thing I guess you could do is you could put a black MP trainer on here. That would allow you to stun lock basically immediately. If you take him to five star gold, you'll at least get the jump off twice. Which is always a plus. We're seeing the black match here, so we're going to go there, so that way that's ready to go next turn. It's not going to matter. And this is why it's not going to matter.
I'm zoning out on this. Like, this is just horrible. We lost. Alright, so, you see the two moves, or two deals. I want to try something. Come on. Okay, so what I'm going to try here is I'm going to drop Nikolai. And I'm going to go with the Black MP Trainer Xavier. Okay. Let's see if we can stun lock him. I can't end this video on a, on a loss. I just cannot do it. So we're there. Take that there. Hit that. Okay. I'll we'll go there. So basically, same same school of thought. Kind of did the exact same thing. So this is testing out what the MP trainer would do. I'm seeing some similarities. Not a whole lot, but some. What was the last damage? It 40,000, so Nikolai added 40,000 to it. Okay. Well, it's looking to me like uh, we're going to be using a prop. See, at least in the other videos, I freaking won. Like, should have just kept this, but nope. This is actually what he looks like. So, whether it works or not, I don't know. I'd rather you all see exactly how he plays and what the pitfalls potentially could be. Skip turn. Turn and go. Think. Think. Okay. And we're still hitting relatively the same amount of damage. He's gonna hit snowball. Okay. I'm gonna break that whole line, not giving him anything to work with. It is prop time. Not dealing with his crap today. So I think that's actually the difference now that I'm analyzing this a little bit more. By having the MP trainer, you can actually stock up to be ready next turn. So that's nice. So it sets you up a lot better. I think it gives you a little bit of a step up now that I think about it. And again, that would allow for two double juggernaut action. Now, six, or six star bronze, he gets a black move that increases his black gem damage by 75%. I want to say the triple black is going to suck. But. Yeah, there's no but. I don't see it working. I'm trying my hardest to analyze just what it's going to do. And without this one MP move. I feel like it just wades in the water. Because you won't be able to recharge this fast. Okay, so we want to try and pin him. Yep. Let's see if it's six. 
Alrighty, so this is the build to go with. We can, why? Because it won. That's why. So I'm changing up what I said before about this setup. Irregardless, I think this is going to be his best setup. Mainly just because it flows. I mean, go with Xavier, King Naka, Santa Hogan, and Boogeyman, or, you know, black move damage. Really doesn't matter. Uh, might want to try many faces of fully played on him. Now that I think about it. Might add a little bit of beef to his step. I'm not 100% if the color turn gems would land on the power gems or what. There is some... Some scenarios where the AI avoids it completely, other scenarios where it takes it over completely. So that might be something to dig around with. I think I'm actually gonna do that for five star gold. <clears throat> so what I wanna do with Tatanka is I wanna do five star bronze, five star gold, six star bronze. I wanna see if there's any sort of difference in this. I think this one's a sleeper, but right now he's not impressing me. So you guys comment what you think down below, like the video, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.